Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Home Style Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today, I'm going to share a snack recipe. And this snack is very, very fast and instant to make. And today, we are going to make this snack with onions. With onions, we are going to make ulli garalu. Garalu means we need to soak any type of dal and we make it. But today, no dal, just instant ingredients, rice flour, some wheat flour. If you want, you can use any type of flour and make this dish. So today, I'm using some rice flour and some wheat flour and some coconut, lot of onions and making this ulli garalu. So let's start. First, take a blender and add some green chilies. This is a spiciness to our dish. So you need to add more of green chilies and some cumin seeds and onions. You can use three to four onions and fresh ginger and four to five garlic. And we're going to add some salt. And here I have the grated coconut powder. If you want, you can add the pieces of coconut and you can blend it along with this. But I have the grated coconut powder, so I'm using this. One cup of grated coconut. And now we are going to blend this. So since here is our mixture which I blended, the onion and the coconut, green chilli, ginger, garlic. This, add it in a bowl. With this itself, we are going to mix the dough. That is the ulli garala dough. We get lot of moisture from the onions and don't make it into a fine paste. We want slightly pieces and this is not too fine. I can feel little bit of pieces of onion. And in this, I'm going to add some spring onion also. I chopped it. I did not grind it. I have chopped the spring onion. Mix this. And now we're going to add rice flour, one cup. And here I have the wheat flour, one cup. Add first little. Mix it. If needed, you can add more. Don't add too much first itself. It should be like our vada batter. Not too soft like our vada batter. It should be slightly thick. We need not add any moisture. There is moisture in the onion and the coconut. With that moisture itself, we can make a nice soft dough. Once your dough is ready, take small dumpling and press it. Little bit flat. If you want, you can use a polythene paper and apply a little bit of oil and then spread it and add it in the oil and reduce the flame. We are going to deep fry this in a medium flame so that we get a nice crispy texture. When you fry them in medium flame, inside also cooks, outside also cooks and you'll get a nice crispy texture. So I'm going to add couple of them. So here I added couple more of them and this also I'm going to fry till we get a nice golden color. And here you can see I have removed some of them. You need to fry them in slightly medium flame dear friends outside will be crispy very hot mm. full of onion flavor onion flavor spicy not too spicy and the ginger and garlic flavor you know evening once in a while you can make such type of snacks instantly if you have not soaked anything if you have guest arrived just blend one onion. If you have some coconut, you can just mix some coconut and make a paste. Add it into the flour and you can make an excellent ulli garalu. Use any type of flour. Today I use some wheat flour and rice flour. Rice flour is always must because we get the crispiness from the rice flour. So add rice flour. Instead of wheat flour, you can use any other flour. Mm. And the coconut flavor also. This is difference. Really, really, really simple and easy snack and tasty tasty snack the coconut and the onion flavorful ulli garalu this you can have it just like that if you want you can give some tomato ketchup green chutney it goes excellent i hope you enjoyed this simple session of making ulli garalu i like this so much even if you make it for your family i'm sure they're going to say bareva see you in another session with some more recipes